Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we've got this Liberty faction brewing up here and realistically we can get rid of like a few counts from this that is definitely a thing that we'd be able to do but overall I'm not sure how much we can actually do here I mean we're gonna grant these vassals over this is absolutely something that we'll do so this is fine We'll grant them over something like that. So Cyprus controls that territory. This down here I'd kind of like to have be a separate kingdom. It's going to be a little complicated. So for now, I think we're just going to continue to give it to Cyprus. Well, actually, are these guys involved in this faction? That's something we should find out. Let's see here. This guy is. But he's only 0.3%. So I don't think he really matters. Where are these other counts at? Where are you? Oh, you're up here. Okay. Yeah, that could go into like Macedonia. Actually, can we just your grant those? No. But yeah, this can go into Macedonia. That's fine. So we'll grant these vassals on over. No problem here. This is not really going to change the balance of power in this faction very much, but it will change it a little bit. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. I mean, this guy's the major problem here. And he has no children. Are his siblings all married? Uh, that's affirmative. So there's very little we can do about this guy at this time. We could send him some cash. I'll boost his opinion by 23. It's not a lot, but it'll... It'll help <laughs> a little bit. What about this guy? This guy's at almost the exact same power level. He does have an unmarried daughter. So we could do something like this. That'll pull him out of the faction, bringing them down to 70%. Now that is the threshold. But we could do something here as well. Would not accept this because his faith differs from ours. Ah, he is old Hellenic. Yeah, that's probably something we should try to change. We'll demand his conversion. We can't hurt his opinion anymore. And then we'll go after this guy. Yeah, we've got a daughter. And that should pull enough out of this Liberty faction. Now, we are at war. And we're going to have to do some warring over here. Which is fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, actually, I do accept. He gains a favor hook, but that's okay. There we go. I expected the faction to go away from that, not get even stronger. <laughs> that is definitely a thing that I expected. But we can now go in here and... Wait, that's our sister-in-law? We'll just negotiate with this guy. And then there's this guy here. Wait. Leadership here changed. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Sure, show in the king. Okay. Alliance formed, and we're going to continue to head down over this way. They've decided not to go this route. I believe... Oh, the siege isn't done yet. Okay. So we'll head in over here. That's fine. I'd like to eliminate some of these armies. What do we got going on over here? Is this just rebels? Oh no, Liberty Faction. Okay, so they have dropped in power a little bit. This guy's back to the original leadership. That's okay. And we could maybe deal with this guy, except we really kind of can't. Oh yeah, we can just negotiate with this guy. I feel like I did that, but sure. Okay, so he allies us. And then there's this fine gentleman. Now we just converted him. So that we can do this. And that should eliminate that faction, at least for now. Okay, so that's a stack wipe there. Let's head up over towards Gobir. Cool. Um, did more people... Oh, this is an independence faction now? Okay. We've got a lot of factionalism going on. I mean, I'm not super shocked by this. And the threshold dropped to 65. Okay. Okay. So we'll need to eliminate this guy if we can. Uh, we are out of sons. So what about this guy? We're out of daughters as well. Okay. 
Well, we could get a concubine here, and uh, we have our half-brother here. We'll invite him to court. There's this guy that we'll invite for court as well. And a half-sister. She is leasing holdings from her liege. Okay. Well, we've got a couple people we can bring in anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way down to Gobier. Okay. Now we can talk to this guy and be like, hey, you want an alliance? She's a bit scaly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Our half-brother here will form an alliance, and that is perfect. Okay. So, that faction went away. We are... Apparently murdering our uncle here. I've forgotten what the point behind this was. I think we might have already been doing this, but, uh, sure, we'll finish that off. I think that's the thing we were already doing. I do want to check in on the status of this Liberty faction. It is continuing to grow here. So they're up to 70%. Now we're not going to be able to do too much about this guy. This guy we might be able to pull out of this faction with our half-brother here. Cool. So that pulls 5% out. And currently, we're safe. Currently. <laughs> I don't expect it to necessarily remain that way. Oh, the woods can be such a dangerous place. Okay. Fantastic. That worked very well. So our uncle is dead, and this faction is back. I'm unsurprised by this. But this queen is now the person who's in charge. We've got a half-sister, and that would do the trick. Wonderful. Okay, so there's that problem solved. We're heading in over here. We're looking, looking to finish out this war as quick as we can. That is, uh, this war. We're at 88% currently. So we're going to come down over here. That war will end quite soon. And of course, we've got Yerubaland up here ticking away. So that'll be fine. Okay, 97. This will finish that war. So we should head down over this way now. If we intercept this force by chance, that would be great. Uh, we'll just head in and fight them. Yeah, that's what I thought. And this, these guys are actually part of this war, so it's over. Irrelevant. We're going to head over this way. And, of course, we're going to need to hand out these titles. So we'll grant those out. Like so. Cool. So there's one war eliminated. Yerubaland currently has 600 troops. Let's actually go down to their capital here. It's only going to take us four months to get there. We're actually still in a war with these guys. That's kind of funny. They were called in as an ally. Sure. They could theoretically intercept our siege force. We'll see if they do. Okay, there's their army. We're going to come down and fight their army. They don't want anything to do with this, and I don't blame them. So this faction is very borderline at this point, I think. Yeah, exceptionally borderline. Is there anyone here that we can just negotiate with? There may be at this point... Let's see here. So far, not very much. Okay. Uh, nothing in here. Yeah, so far, not anything. We also might be able to bribe people out of here. I think we already did this row, didn't we? Okay, we'll go through here. We can also pull some of these lower ranked people out. That would be fine, too. So, we need to drop this power by, like, 3%. These guys are all super weak. Okay. This guy's a powerful vassal. He can have secondary spouses. Hang on. Would a secondary spouse count if we had grandchildren? I don't believe we do have grandchildren. No, we don't. Okay. So, that's not going to work. Okay. I feel like we already dealt with this guy. We don't have anybody at all to work with. 
So I think what we're going to do is we are going to send some gold over. Well, actually, what we need to do is we need to move these counts out of the faction. So we're going to go to Macedonia here and we're going to grant this vassal on in. Okay. So that's 0.8% gone. It's not a lot, but it helps. This prince is next. He's in Socotra. We're going to give him to this kingdom. No longer our problem. Okay. Now what? Let's see here. We've got this guy. I'm just checking the borders on everyone before it. So he's 0.3%. And I guess we'll grant him in over here. Not super happy about it, but we'll do it. And then there is this guy. And this guy. And all four of these counts. Okay. We'll just grant them all over to this guy. Again... Not super happy about Cyprus stretching down this far, but it'll have to do. Okay, so we removed them out of that faction, and that just gets them to discontent status. I don't think that faction is going to go away. I think more people will join it. But for the time being, it's okay. So we finished up that battle. We're going to head over this way. This guy wants fortification rights, and he's using his hook for that. That's fine. I don't really care about that. As expected, the Dangerous Faction returns. This is the Independence Faction this time. Okay. They can set their ultimatum in eight months. We may want to fight them. Let's eliminate this war. We'll enforce those demands, and then these guys are going to head up over this way. We're, of course, going to need to hand out this title up here. That'll be Janet, and we'll hand that over. Fantastic. So, seven months and four months. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, indeed. We have very little time. He would not accept a white piece. What can we do about these guys? Well, we are able to fight them. That is a theoretical possibility. Now, I would be much more comfortable with fighting them if these other wars were over. We could bounce the faction. It's a theoretical option. Like, we break this betrothal here. But, that is keeping a powerful vassal allied to us. What about this one? I think that's acceptable. So we'll do that, and then we'll look at this guy. I mean, we'll need to let that go through. Okay. So he granted our request, and we can now do something like this, although that was a brother, so we don't have too much that we can do there. We need a female child here, ideally. Uh, if I can select the right things. <laughs> there we go. Here's a female child, and we'll do something kind of like this. So that'll pull 5.2% out of this faction. The threshold is down to 60% now. So that's definitely a yikes. That's for sure. Do we know where this leader is? Oh, he's in his capital. Okay. We can just run for the capital. We'll take a million attrition if we do that. We're a long ways away from getting these sieges done. Other options. Our options are very limited at this point. We may just have to fight them. Although, we've got this count here, who can be moved into here. There we go. So that puts them at 59%. So this faction is too weak to send an ultimatum at this moment. I expect that to change, to be clear. And then we've got this guy. He has very little going for him here. Okay. There's not much we can do there. Man, that threshold being at 60% is a yikes. But we're going to have to proceed for now. 
This is five months away. This is still too weak to send an ultimatum, so their discontent is dropping. Now, when these guys fire, these guys will definitely look to fire. They can send an ultimatum in 13 months. How else can we delay this? How long on our Majesty Focus? Two years. That's a yikes as well. That's too long. Options are very, very limited here. Just incredibly limited. We're trying to get over here, but it's going to take time. Three months and nine months at this point. Okay. I really would love this war to be over, but we're still so far away here. We've got two months until the Independence Faction fires. Eight months on the Liberty Faction. Now, we can acquiesce to the Liberty Faction. That's not that big of a deal. And the fact... Hmm. The fact that this guy has no children is very problematic for us. It means we can't bounce the faction the way I normally would here. Okay. One month. What else can we do here? I don't suppose we can just imprison one of these guys. It would be a bit of a Hail Mary. 56% chance. Now, that would almost certainly cause them to revolt, but they would be weakened. Hmm. There's absolutely no way that they would accept that. None at all. Okay. Well, we're almost here at long last. Sending him a gift, we've already done that, right? I'm pretty sure we have. We're really not able to stop this. We really, really aren't. And it's entirely because he has no children. This guy also has no children, which is very rude. <laughs> so they're going to fire this very, very soon. Okay. Um, who are these? Are you in either of these factions? Maybe. But we're going to imprison them and hope that they're in one of the factions. That would be awfully convenient. I don't think that they were. Man, we need these sieges to go faster. We don't have a siege commander here right now. Let's go ahead and get one in. There we go. They can send their ultimatum at any time. However, we won that siege. That doesn't get us what we needed. I was hoping we get enough from that to be able to white piece. They can send their ultimatum at any time. What else can we possibly do here? Ah. That's a potential option. He can send him his ultimatum at any time, so it might be too late for this. But we break this betrothal. Then we do this. I didn't look at his mother. It may be too late. Alliance formed. He disbands the faction. Okay. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> we would have had... I, I don't think we would have lost that war, to be clear. But it would have been very problematic for us. That's a huge deal that we managed to prevent that. We got lucky. There's no doubt about it. We're going to need to replenish these forces here. So we'll pull them out over this way. And we're going to split them up here. We're going to split them into quads. And we'll let these guys finish moving. There we go. And we'll head down over this way. We're now positive in war score. And we're just going to continue sieging through this until we see their forces. Now, ticking war score is against us. That's for sure. But we need to 
create like a line towards their capital right now. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to siege a line that we can walk through to their capital. But the fact that we managed to get away with not fighting those factions is so huge. We may be able to fight the factions later. Well, we would be. I just didn't want to be in this war at the same time. Because this war is out in the middle of nowhere. And I don't want our troops to be here <laughs> when we start fighting the uh, proper wars. So we're going to move up over this way. And we're just making a beeline right now for their capital. That is our goal. Demand artifact, we decline. Now, what faction is this? This is the Independence Faction Resurgent. This guy we can work with, though. We can bounce this faction if we need to. So that's reasonably okay. And we also have concubines that we can get now. So we'll go for... Let's see, 22? Sure. Sounds good. Okay. We'll continue to push up over this way. And now if we have to, we are in a position where we can white piece this war. But in theory, we shouldn't have to. In theory. We're starting up some slow sieges here. They're not, strictly speaking, necessary. So this is six months. And this down over here, too weak to send an ultimatum. I expect this to actually change. I expect them to want to send that ultimatum. For right now, though, we're going to continue pushing up here. In fact, we're just going to stack all of our troops together. I just want a beeline for this capital. And then I want to deal with this independence faction. Okay, let's get everybody in here. And I want a siege commander here. That will be, say, this guy. So we'll go here, and then our next target will be their capital. We're not full sieging for very good reason. We've got three months until these guys send their ultimatum. So, we could bounce this faction again. Do we think that that's necessary? Now, they are sieging up here. That's fine. They can do that. We're going to take their capital very soon. 15 days left on this siege. The demand is going to be sent very soon as well. One month there. I don't suppose we can just negotiate with anybody that has since joined this faction. We need to check just to see if we can pull them out of the faction. But I do ultimately want this faction to... Ooh, hello. This guy. I do ultimately want this faction to fire. But not immediately. Like, this shouldn't be a right now sort of thing. We want this faction to fire in, like, two to three months. That would be fine. Okay. So we pull him out of there. That drops their power a little bit. They're still going to be able to fire in a month. And we'll arrive here very soon. Demand artifact, we decline. Come on, we need to get there. We're moving so slowly through this area. Okay, the siege has begun. 11 days. I expect this to end this war. It did. Perfect. Timing was okay. <laughs> it was really close. Really, really close. We need to hand these titles out. And we will certainly do so. Okay. Sounds good. Now, we're okay. If they fire. And there it is. I will not be threatened. Cool. So, we managed to disband our troops. That's the important thing. Our timing came in just when we wanted it. Technically, I would have liked it to be a little bit faster there. You can see who all is rebelling here. This isn't a big deal, though. And this is a independence war that we will deal with 
in the next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Rose Valentine, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.